Welcome to the channel, a Jaden Chase, and these are some of the top stories making headlines today. Now, if you love the consistency, well, I'm reminding you to drop a like on the video and also drop a comment in the comment section as well. Now, sources within law enforcement have confirmed that they are no longer pursuing leads that suggested that Russian Barnett might have had an accomplice. Now, truth be told, I feel like I am alone to this. This is a wicked dirty crime and him alone must feel like perpetrate the act now if you agree that based on the evidence found and new charges even being brought against barnett there is no way there should be any plea deals any mercy granted the full weight of the law should be used in this case and no matter what them say we now forget miss Wright and our four pitney them and jamaica want justice for this crime and if you agree with my nation drop a like on the video and drop a comment in the comment section now on to the other stories making headlines today no nation of course condolences to the family now the jamaica constabulary force is mourning the loss of one of their own as the report state that a police inspector assigned to the saint catherine enhanced security measures division was found dead at his home on his birthday now the reports are that the body of Enroy was found in his car at his Whitewater Meadows home in Spanish Town. His firearm was found at the scene, which has left investigators baffled. He was reportedly found with a single gunshot wound to the head. Of course, it sounds strange, Nation. Law enforcement stating that this occurred at his own home. This is, an, this is an inspector with years of training. His firearm was also found at the scene. Now, no, talk to me. Now, on to the other stories making headlines today. Nation, this is a strange case. And it is said that the Jamaican embassy is working with the UK embassy to have the situation remedied. Now, it appears a woman who came to get married in Jamaica while pregnant had her child out here. Now, upon trying to return home to the UK, which of course are you not going to have no travel documents, she was denied entry with the youth, stating that he was not a UK citizen. Her husband, which will come out to get married to, her daughter, who was born in England, and herself were granted permission to enter the country. As a matter of fact, may I make sure I explain to ourselves and then we'll continue the reasoning nation. Very strange. Look and listen. We came out here simply to get married. We got that executed. Now we want to be able to get back to our life. So we came to Jamaica in 2020. Um, me and my husband to due to get married. Then the pandemic happened. So we weren't able to get married when we planned, which was March 2020. Um, once offices started opening back up and everything was had a little bit more freedom, we were able to. Sorry, he's coming outside. We were able to get married in August 2020. Mm -hmm. um, since then, I I got pregnant straight after that while waiting for the our marriage certificate for me to take back home to apply for my husband to join us in the UK. Mm -hmm. When I got pregnant, I got really, really sick. Like, I would be throwing up and peeing at the same time. There was no way I could get on a flight right there and then with a four-year-old to head back home. So you have a four-year-old daughter or at the, son? At the time, mm -hmm. she was four. Okay. So I've got a four-year-old daughter. So she's five now. She'll be six on the 31st of July. And she was born where? In the UK? In the UK. She's a British citizen. So we want to be able to continue the life that we have there all together in the UK. So what has the UK told you? What has the government of the UK told you? That you can't go back to the UK with your son who is born in Jamaica? They refused him the right to enter with me. So I have the right to enter. My husband was given the right to enter. My daughter has unconditional rights to enter. But they've denied him the right to be able to enter and go back home with me. Have they said why? Because his father was isn't a British citizen, um, that he's able to continue his life here. I mean, at the time when we did the application, he was five months old. So he had no life here. 
There was no life, there was no setup here for him. We, all of our life is in the UK. Myself, my daughter, our life is in the UK. And our hus my husband just wants to be able to join us so that we can have our life together in the UK. Do you have family here in Jamaica? Um, I have my mother-in-law who I live with right now. Mm -hmm. um, I have my brother-in-law who's also dying of cancer. I mean, there's no help out here for me. My brother, my mother-in-law spends all of her time, her money, her energy trying to help her son through, through cancer treatment. For how long were you in the UK or you have lived in the UK? 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. So my entire life, I know nothing but the UK. I know nothing but life there. I know how life there operates. I know how to live my life there, how to feel safe there. Out here, I am so lost. So we went to the High Commission when he was about five months old. We went to the High Commission, to the gate, to see the High Commission, to speak with them. Now, we weren't able to speak to anybody. We were stopped at the gate by security guards and told that to be able to speak to the High Commission, we had to book an appointment. When we called to book an appointment, they said that the High Commission can't give us help and the only one we can get help from is the UK government. We have to apply directly to the UK government to be able to get any help. Now, he w now the borders to allow UK flights back into Jamaica was open on May 1st. The day after he, was, day born. After he was born? Okay. So you remained here for another four months? We tried, we got his birth certificate and tried to apply for a passport. We weren't given a passport. A UK passport? Yeah. Because if he was born in the UK, he would automatically bring a British citizen. Right. We wouldn't be having this conversation if he was born in the UK. If right. I was able to go home, he would have been born there. We wouldn't be having this conversation right now. However, said he because of where he was born and the fact that both of his parents the fact that both of us um none of us were British citizens, mm -hmm. he wasn't able to get a, a passport. Right. We then we're told that we could apply for a visa for him. So we said, okay. We spent out a lot of money and applied for a visa. When you say a lot of money, how many times you had to apply? Just the ones we applied. We couldn't afford any money. Okay. We're looking at 3,500 US dollars. To apply for a visa. For a visa. And we expedited the visa. We paid to have it to return to us as soon as possible. And what did they tell you? What? What did the councillors at the embassy say to you in refusing you a visa for him? They said that he was able to continue to live and study, specifically live and study in the UK. In the UK? In, sorry, in Jamaica. Oh, okay. So he was able to continue living and studying in here. And being at the time that he was only five months when we made the application, how was he able to study at that age? Who have you sought help from in the UK? So when this all happened, I called my immigration lawyer that I've used for years and he recommended us to an appellate lawyer, someone who could do an appeal for us. So we lodged an appeal. Um, that got us nowhere. We've been sitting here for months and all they've done is exchange documents. The home office and my lawyers has exchanged documents and nothing has happened. Now, my, one of my friends who knew someone who had gone through a simi similar um, case, but she was living in India, trying to get back home with her. Yes, Nation, now we hope this is a situation that gets started out very soon by UK Home Office. The fact that her, her husband, and her oldest child have been granted acceptance into the country, and the youngest member of the family has been denied. A situation where some have considered the situation as a failure on the part of the family. Now, the specifics were not detailed. But the fact that she and her entire family out here and them are trying to return home, we feel like the UK needs to look into that. We know them big part family and keeping family together. So, hopefully some of situation where they can start out very soon. Now, Nation, if you're new to the channel, remember to click the subscribe icon and the bell icon and put it on all and this is how you know we'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform. 
Remember the comment section on 24 7. Like and share the video. Now, until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours. If you want to live, love, and prosper, stay tuned. Until the reason again.